First, the United Nations Climate Conference is underway for a second day in Morocco. European leaders are alarmed after President-elect Donald Trump denied climate change, calling the issue a hoax during the campaign. But 2016 is on track to be the hottest year on record. Galen McKinley is an associate professor of atmospheric and oceanic sciences at UW-Madison. Galen, nice to see you. Thanks for being with us. Hello, hello. So how warm is 2016 going to be? How far is it off the norm? So compared to, for the just the, for the globe, between January and September, we're basically at one degree warmer than the long-term average of the, uh, of the 20th century. And, and that's about uh, a half, uh, a tenth of a degree warmer than 2015, and what which is was the, the previous record. What is the significance of that? Well, I mean, we know that we've had an El Nino this year, uh, at the beginning of the year, but we also know that we're undergoing long-term climate change driven by human activities, putting a lot of carbon in the atmosphere that enhances the greenhouse effect and warms the planet. Uh, we understand that science very clearly, and we understand that, the, um, uh, that you know, we have very good measurements that the temperature is going up. What do you say to critics of that, that the whole thing's a hoax? You know, that's a really unfortunate myth that, of course, gets a lot of play because um, as, uh, you know, it's just, it is unfortunate but true that, um, that we are warming the planet by what we do. The data, uh, uh, we've known the, the basic science on this for about more than 100 years, really. We understand the greenhouse effect. We know that we're putting carbon in the atmosphere uh, by burning our fossil fuels. We can budget that carbon in the global system very, with good precision now. Uh, and, and we know that that drives warming. So the science is very clear, the data is very clear, and you know, it is easy to want to deny that data because it isn't very um, convenient, it isn't very helpful for us. And as a mother, a, a parent, I wish it was true that global warming wasn't true, and I don't, I don't know a climate scientist that doesn't wish that. But we're scientists, and we have to look at the data, and we have to be honest about what it tells us, and it tells us that the climate's warming, we know why, and, and, you know, it's not a hoax, it's, it's the reality. But can it be reversed, or is this our new normal? Um, I, I think that it is the new normal. I think we have to accept the fact that the carbon we've already put in the atmosphere is going to be warming the planet for at least the next several decades. Uh, and the kinds of changes that the people uh, in Morocco are trying to work towards really are not about changing the climate change that we're going to experience for the next 20 or 30 years or so. It's really about changing the course for the second half of this century for our children and grandchildren. Uh, uh, but the changes that we can make for them are enormous and are really important um, in terms of preventing rapid warming, uh, preventing large levels of sea level rise, preventing radical reorganization of, of climate systems such as you know, that indicates where we can grow food and where we can have forests. Uh, we need to slow the rate of our emissions so that we can give a, ourselves and the Earth system more time to adapt. One degree doesn't sound like much, but it is a lot globally. Yes, it is. It definitely is. Um, when we think about the, uh, the last, um, the history of the planet, uh, glacial interglacial change, for example, uh, 20,000 years, there was a mile of ice here above us our heads in Madison, that climate was only about five degrees colder at the global scale than we are right now. So in that context, one degree is really a lot of warming. All right, Galen, very interesting that uh, an alarm is being, is being sounded in all across the land. So we thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much.